Hello and welcome to this little video about teaching online tutorials in general. It's more a quick tip um, on sort of software you could use to screen annotate and to record just my basic setup. I'm doing my videos in case someone of you want to try something similar. Um, straight I want to tell you how I got to this. I asked Mrs. Barba about her tools, how she is uh, making her videos and she pointed me to this uh, web page you're seeing at the moment and I want to point out um, the topics here on the right, the tools that she's using. So um, for screen recording she's using a software named iShowYou which is uh, Mac only I think. Um, also screen annotation OmniDazzle is uh, Mac only which is the problem and uh, the cause for this video. Um, exact USB mic is, uh, for me it's not uh, that important because I'm using uh, the T-Bone SC450 USB mic uh, to record my tutorials. She's using an Intuos ta tablet, also a Cintiq, which we'll uh, see at the moment what that is, and a special USB video card in order to get uh, the projector screen and uh, her Cintiq board or uh, her laptop at the same time. Um, what I, for my concern, I don't have a Mac on my uh, business, so I'm using Windows as a software. All, yeah, for 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 the engineering tools also. So I had to <clears throat> make a difference here in, in the OmniDazzle section. So I was searching for screen annotation software, and I came up with a little. A uh, piece of software which is um, quite nice actually. Um, I will use it in the future videos and um, just show you this, f this functionality a little bit. But let me just first uh, go a bit about uh, that Intuos tablet for a second. So I did a quick Google search about Wacom and you see there is Wacom. I'm controlling the computer right now with a Wacom tablet. I'm uh, owning the into 4S, I think. It's a small version and it's just a black, no screen um, tablet, you could call it. And as they are quite expensive, you could go with the bamboo, but I have no experience with the bamboo as I'm doing a little bit of hobby photography. So I'm, I, I bought that a while ago. But um, currently, I'm looking into the Cintiq products if they are um, yeah, valuable extension for my tutorials. I think they are, but right now I'm guessing that it is quite too expensive for just making a few YouTube tutorials, a few YouTube videos, so right now I'm not into buying one directly, but I'm keeping an eye on it. Maybe if they are using a special discount, I would definitely go with a Wacom Cintiq 13 inch HD in this model, which would cost 800 euros, but that's rather expensive right now. So, um, back to Mrs. Barba, she's using a 12WX Cintiq board, which is, I think, the version, one version earlier of the 13 HD. So, I was searching about a screen annotation software I could use, and uh, I came up with uh, Ink2Go can see that on the web page ink to go and I will just quickly show that to you. So it's that bar here on the top. You have uh, different options here. So you can create a new page. First of all, you can create different pages. It's a, a huge profit for you. You can save um, annotations to a JPEG file screenshot. You can switch between the pages and you can Right, yeah, <laughs> let's try that out. I'm right, just writing my name right now. It works perfect. Um, no lag, no um, nothing in here. Uh, it's a bit difficult with the eye hand, hand coordination because I'm not seeing directly what I'm writing, but I think I will get used to it. And what I was um, thinking about the most is if I'm able to do differential equations and being able to see them, read them at a later point. And you can see that you, um, that this is rather 
straightforward. So for the precision with the Wacom board and the software, I can definitely say that it is um, quite nice. It's the response is very fast and I have no lag in here. I can um, draw as fast as I want. And for that, I had to make a adjustment. Maybe I can uh, show that to you right now quick because I was struggling at the moment with a functionality. I will show that to you right in a sec. Um, if this window, uh, Windows Freihand verwenden, if that's enabled, then you have in every click, you see that animation and that costs you resources. So if I'm not drawing as fast as I can, maybe you can hear that with the mic. You see that should be an um, equal sign. It is not. And if I turn that back off, then you don't have this animation. And for that reason, you can go rather quickly and do your equal sign. So that's one tip with the software. But uh, not the software's fault, it's just a Wacom uh, configuration of the tablet. So you have uh, different uh, pencils, like here, black, blue, green, red, white. You can also choose the thickness on that and then you can also highlight something. That's also a very important thing. If you later on want to highlight something you have just written, um, then you can do that in different colors. You can also write text. So for example, if I want to put, put in here, you can use a text and also do some shapes, but I think I'm not using that uh, frequently. Um, if I want to control a program, I can always click the mouse button. So now I'm using controlling the mouse button and seeing that the annotations stay there where they are. I can not drag them around, which I don't want. And then those two buttons, I think will be the most important for me because they will let me quickly create a whiteboard. So now I'm in a, on a whiteboard, white screen, and I can draw whatever I want. For example, like that. For example, yeah. So I can um, quickly draw on that whiteboard and just go back to the reg regular screen. So if I want to make some MATLAB coding, go to whiteboard, explain something with equations, go back here and I'm back to MATLAB. The other button here will, will clear all annotations on the current page, which I'm not doing right at the, no at the moment because I just want to show if I'm creating a new page, I can draw whatever I want and now do a quick switch between my annotations so they are saved. And later on I can save the whole uh, annotations with JPEGs. So that's quite nicely. And now I'm showing you the button clear all annotations. That's what it should. You can also sh uh, start recording, um, record the screen. I'm using right now a different software for that. It's called Snagit. We can show that to you also. And with the region, I currently don't have a uh, experience right now. Maybe I can, can just uh, record the region. Yeah, I think think that that's the functionality behind that. In the preferences, you should also check the shortcuts as they will definitely help to just uh, being able to, to use the software more quickly. And then you also can let that um, I can stay there and then, then it is not a big toolbar on the top irritating and can you use your keyboard to change the functionality. So um, that's ink to go. I think it will really help me uh, in the future readers and uh, hopefully help you understand the topics I want to uh, teach you. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you will come back soon.